just watched uh, the vlog that's going to go out tomorrow. It says at the end of it, you and Ad are talking about how you're going to celebrate in the office. With uh, this bottle of Captain Morgan's <laughs> and then some <laughs> iced. <laughs> and that, my friend, is exactly what happened. We did. Oh, stinking hangover on Saturday. Oh, did. Best not have had in ages. <laughs> Um, my office plant. I've doused it in water, I've pretty much drowned it, I think. Sup, bro. Sup, Jamie. Just done a little bit of filming for yes. our newsletter. I love newsletters mm. because it's not the type of information that just bumps onto your newsfeed. It's, it's information you're actively seeking out. Mm. Um, people only really subscribe when they see value, so um, it gives you that opportunity to talk to people who are interested. Um, in, in quite a lot of detail, so that's why I'm uh, I'm absolutely buzzing to get the uh, the pulse launched. very quickly tell you about the time that I was on Come Dine With Me. So one of the things that you don't realise as a viewer is that actually um, they tell you like the day before, like maybe two or three days before we start filming that you're going to be on the show. So you don't have time to practice or rehearse any of your dishes. You just have to like go for it. I'm doing dark, don't know how to do dark. So I'm sat there in my kitchen, I'm like trying to butcher this dark and the cameraman literally had to switch off his camera and help me butcher the dark because I was so helpless. I was just sat there like... <laughs> It was like a crazy experience, super hammered throughout, met some really interesting people that I would never have met otherwise. If anything, I'm just like quite gutted that Channel 4 didn't contact me after to be like, do you know what, you're a real character. I could use someone like you. You should have your own show. Next break. Fourth place. Beth and Undine. I am shocked and appalled. How, so how's business then at the minute? How's life going? Very good. Um, yeah, we've uh, the guys are just working really hard on it, and their, their hard work is now starting to pay off. And maybe start getting plans to get back to the office for like one day a week or something from like October onwards. And yeah, you know. yeah, it's good. Ah. So people are back in the office now. Yes, it's I'm exciting. so jealous, Jamie. Our office is up there with the best in the country. Like, honestly, it's amazing. Working from home has been great, but overall, I have to work in an office. Mm. As long as that office environment is positive, uh, which we've definitely got that, um, it, it's got to be part of my, my full-time job. Hey, Jamie, we've missed you so much, and we are back. We missed the rest of the Electric House team. Matt has been speaking through a megaphone all day, um, and we're not allowed to go. Sorry, sure, I haven't got time for that. Get on with the edit, yeah? See what I mean? Get on with it. It's great to be here and uh, getting to work on a really exciting and uh, important project for the business. Like, I'm super excited about it. I'm not sure how much we can talk about, you know, our recent deal, but we did get an absolutely, a, a prize fish across the line recently. <laughs> which is basically sentiment to the people we've got working for us because um, without them we definitely wouldn't have done this. The way everyone's come together and, and grafted for it, it's, it's unbelievable. The sun's shining. You just can't, you can't write this, can you? Yeah. Everything seems to be going really well at the minute. I am shocked and appalled.